255 here. What up? What up? Today we're looking at this DNF dual story mode. Looks like Berserker is the main character. Maybe he's being searched for. He's being attacked. I don't know what it is, but it would have been crazy for the makers of Dungeon Fighter Online not to push Arc System to have some type of story mode, even slash MMORPG type mode, uh, where you can use your leveled up character. And I think it would be great. Along with the story mode, if you could actually take your leveled up characters into a, a different space. Anyway, with enough of that, let's take a look at this lore. So we have one region here, the Principality of Belmire, located in the western part of the Adrid continent. Belmire is a nation of magic that holds the meaning principality of the virtuous and the elven language. The capital is Hendunmer which is governed by Empress Scardi and three senators, blessed by fertile land, abundant food, and a flourishing culture of art, music, and literature. The people live in high spirits. Be interested to see what character lives there. Second part here is Hendon Myra. The capital city of Belmyra, originally a desert wasteland, the great mage Myra transformed it into a habitable oasis by creating the great Pentacle, all buildings are painted white to honor the city's creator, Myra, and his love for peace and freedom. Our next city here is Pandemonium, a world where humans with magical powers and half-human hybrids dwell, located in a different world from the Irid continent. The Pandemonium landscape is filled with ruins of skyscrapers. Pandemonians have long ears and sharp physical features. Delos Empire, a centralized state ruled by a powerful emperor centering on Palaman. The first province lies to the south and the second province to the north. The capital, Vitalan, the city of gold, is located in the first province. The two provinces are notably different from one another as the south has a strict military culture whereas the north has a more open and inviting atmosphere. Although the inhabitants of Delos are very proud people, there are those who disagree with imperial rule. Some have joined the resistance in an effort against the empire. All right, next is Empyrean, a world located above Middle Ocean, which sits above the sky of the Arid continent, boasting great advancement in metal crafting and gunpowder technology. They use powerful firearms as their weapon of choice, contact between Ephraim and Arad was lost long ago. For this reason, only a few records of Ephraim remain in Arid, usually in the form of legends and fairy tales. Now we got to look at one of the regions here, Arad, a vast continent that includes countries and regions of many different cultures. The Principality of Belmyra and the Suju Kingdom lie to the west, and the Delos Empire to the east. The north is home to the Bantu Nation, while the Finney's Kingdom in the south is home to the Dark Elves. With so many different regions and locations, I am imagine there's a lot that can be done with a good story mode, and they've had a lot of these characters for a while, so I really hope they build up this story mode. Next is Lemidos, the god of light and life, worshipped by the Priest Order. The relic of Lemidos is known as the Paladum of Light, which, when used by a noble priest, unleashes the power of Lemidos or Lemidios, not sure, and becomes a powerful weapon. Might be our, our big priest guy with the hammer. Forgive me, I don't, I wanted to play the DNF uh, Dungeon Fighters Online, but for some reason they couldn't let me. I'm gonna try again, or hopefully get into part two. But, uh, you know, I'm sure you know the regions better than me and what characters are where. If you got that knowledge, please drop it down in the comments below. Also, drop down in the comments below what you think about the storyline so far. Anyway, let's continue. Adventurers Guild. The guild created to bring together adventurers scattered throughout Arid. The guild master, Caracas, is always willing to offer advice and support to the adventurers. Their current base of operations is the Moonlight Tavern located in Hyden, Myra. So now we're talking about organizations. So I got a good little glossary here. 
normal for our existing games. They're pretty uh, thorough about this. They also appear to have a miscellaneous mode, the gate, created from the great metastasis. It is the place where all the possibilities of the world converge. Even transcendent beings with great power cannot go through it with ease. There are no means of getting to the gate and only a few even know of its existence. Um, willing to bet that if they got any boss characters, they're probably inside that then. All right, Deep Minds, let me know what your uh, thoughts are. And uh, 255, out, peace.